All right, some more documentation of the MR2 with the Prius motor um, project. This is a milestone for me. Uh, last time I just showed that I had the wheel spinning, uh, but this time I made, um, it's the first time I've actually got field-oriented control working. So I built a wiring harness that um, allows me to bring my engine control unit into the car, into the uh, cabin. I'm running the wires through where the um, the shift cable came. Since I'm not using the MR2 transmission, it was an automatic transmission, so there was a shift cable coming out of there, and then the other hole that goes through there, that was the, the starter battery current. The 12-volt uh, battery is up in the front, so... I'm going to demonstrate uh, my field-oriented control. I temporarily mounted my my new engine control unit underneath the rear window. I have the seats out of the car. It allows me to work in here. You can see my cables coming up through. This is my custom board with the Arduino Dewey um, underneath it, shielded underneath it. This is my control, which you'll be able to see here, hopefully, it focuses. You'll see things like um, IMD and IMQ, that's the, the motor current uh, direct and the motor current quadrature. Um, and then you'll see VD and VQ, so using the field-oriented control, I'm able to maintain a I'm, I'm going to maintain a 30 degree angle between the Q and the D. Always having negative D current in this type of motor. It's an interior permanent magnet motor. Uh, judging by the Oak Ridge National Labs, they did a breakdown of the Prius motor and the max torque per amp appears to be about 30 degrees. So what I'm doing now with this slider to simulate the throttle is I can command a high current and the, you'll hear the motor start to spin up you'll see the uh, I and the D go up 4 and negative 2.5 and I can slow down coasting would be zero current you'll hear the wheels slow down I can go fast high current wheel spin up and you'll also see wheel RPM on there 130 127, 250 RPM, that's for the wheel. There's a, um, just selecting some different currents here. See the wheel spinning out of the car. This wheel's not spinning because the brake is holding higher. There we go. Let me turn the emergency brake off. I have some resistance on there now just to show the current. But if I let off on the emergency brake, it'll spin much faster. Let's see this wheel start to spin. More current. So it's operating like a real car wheel for the first time. Faster, slower. IMQ and IMD are the uh, motor currents. Speed it up. The wheel RPM's got up to about 250. Three hundred 
wheel RPM. And it's about, I think it's 5.7 feet per rotation, so however miles per hour, I don't know, I should have put miles per hour on the screen here. This is just for debug purposes right now. But I am super excited. This field-oriented control is pretty cool stuff. I had to learn a lot. But I ordered my um, Hall Effect throttle sensor. Should be here today or tomorrow. And I'll see if I can actually be sitting in the chair and uh, pushing on the um, throttle pedal instead of touching the slider. That's all I got.